afternoon. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Afternoon, guys. Um, going to do a couple of minutes. Just to give you an update on what I'm going to be doing. Then I'm going to do a box opening of new and yet another new camera, which was supposed to have been here last night, but it didn't turn up last night. Um, started waiting today. And I've been keeping an eye on the tracking on Amazon and the guy's been near me for the last two hours, two and a half hours, and he's only just turned up, you know. I know he's got a route to go, I think. You know, I think they go for an arc and all route, but he's gone past my house like three times already. He's only just turned up right now. So um if I do the uh box opening, um just let you know I will be going out to my permission tomorrow. Do some metal detecting. Um, if the camera came today, I would have gone out and tested the new camera, but it didn't turn up till just now, and it is now ten to five in the evening. It's getting dark. It's cold outside. It's really cold in here as well, actually. To be honest with you. So, um, thank you for all the views on the other. Uh, video on the unboxing of the um, 4K camera. That being that one, um, I think I actually had um, nearly 100 views on it. I'm just going to check on it. So people, you know, do seem to be interested on, um, you know, cameras because. Um, yeah, the Cam Park, this is a Cam Park one, the ACT76, 94 views on that one. So thank you for everyone who viewed that. Uh, a couple of people said that they're actually going to be looking at buying it as well, because it looks like a really good camera, and the uh, the video quality is pretty good. And it ain't too bad, because I, you know, I did re didn't realise that I was actually recording on um, 2.7K, actually, and it does go up to 4K. So um, this one should also be 4K. Um, it doesn't have the little screen in the front. I just bought that because I, you know, I want to see exactly what it shows on there. No, it does. It shows the battery uh, indicator, um, how long the video has been recorded for, and that's it really. So here's the new one. This one is. Uh, the Dragon Touch is a touchscreen uh, camera. Uh, I've got battery already charged up, so I won't be using the battery inside this one. I don't think there's as many um, attachments in this than there normally is um, in cameras, but I know there are going to be a few attachments. So, Although I'm live streaming now, I'll probably set this as a premium and, and replay it again later. So I think a lot of people, you know, are actually at work. So this is the box it comes in. And um, I'm surprised it's in one piece actually, because I've just been out to get this from the actual Amazon guy, because I. I know he, he, I saw him outside, um, but he had a lot of deliveries to do, and he was throwing them in one container. Mine was right at the bottom, so like even though he was outside, I'd still probably been waiting five ten minutes because he probably would have went down the bottom and come along to my one and done mine last. So um, yeah, so that's the camera. I'll show you that in a moment. I just tore the box slightly. I don't really want to tear the box in case I decide to send it back. So we've got the uh, attachments in here. We'll show you, I'll show you the attachments first before I actually um, start looking around the camera. That camera does come with remote control. So what I'm going to do is see 
if the remote control from my other camera works on that one. Right, okay, so attachment one, attachment two, um, there's two attachments in here, one with a screw point and one without screw point. Got the uh, the bands, uh, the um, tie clips, and a cloth. Another attachment. So it's got more attachments in than I expected, actually. I think it might have about the same amount as so the other one. So I'm not really going to kind of like get lost with our attachments. Another one. Straps. And another attachment. Uh, it's got the, yeah, it comes with a, a battery charger. That's good because I've, you know, although I've got two of these, they are very handy to keep because I'm always losing my ones anyway. Uh, another attachment. A strap. And two batteries. Um, another attachment. The uh, little user manual that it comes with. It's showing you how to like charge and put batteries in. And the activate your two year free warranty. So it's actually got a two year warranty on this. But that that's it, you know, the instruction manual isn't really a proper instruction manual like my other one is. Um but hey, <laughs> you know who really needs instruction manuals nowadays? Who actually reads instruction manuals nowadays? I don't. Um so yeah, at least these batteries are kind of different to the ones I normally use. They look a bit bigger, but they're not. They are the same kind of battery. Just different colour um, paper. Um, I think these are 1050. Uh, what are they? Yeah, 1050. PG 1050. Um, MA8. M8H uh, 3.885 WH 3.7 volts so um, I've always got one my recharges plugged in so I'm going to start charging these batteries up so I will probably take both of these with me tomorrow this camera and the other camera because uh, I haven't really checked the other camera in 4K yet. So it's always, you know, nice to have a spare backup in case the other one packs up. Right, I'm going to put these back in here. And I don't keep dropping them all over the place. the actual remote control out just in case it isn't compatible so I have noticed that some of the cameras that I do have my old ones the remote control don't work on them although they say that they are Wi-Fi but they don't work on remote controls oops I'm just going to put that other battery on my own just there So that's the new mode control. I don't see nothing in there where you can pull those little tabs out. You can see it's already kind of working on its own. All right. So that's the strap for that one. Okay, here's the camera. Comes with the normal waterproof casing. You can actually record up to a hundred meters on this as well. 
Or 100 feet, I mean. Which is 10 meters, I think. I think there's film on there. On the back, yeah, there's the uh, clear film on there. It's got the one on the cat, uh, the lens as well. I'm not going to take that off from that now. Um, it's got the awkward pin thing on there. The uh, it's so awkward. You know, I have to carry something with me to actually open these up. Don't want to lose that. So, battery. Now, you might be, not be able to see it properly when I turn it on. I'm going to keep the, the back off for now. So, I've already gone misplaced the damn thing. There is, I've got to make sure I don't lose that. So, I'm always losing those. So, turn it on. Normal on button is at the bottom. Comes up with a little red, uh, blue button now. Comes up Dragon version three Pro. Let me see what I'm doing. Then when you get that, it comes up with select camera mode. One to eight. Now I'm going to skip that. And all I don't want to push the on screen while skipping it. Enjoy your M, uh, first, enjoy your version three pro. And there you go. And it is like 170 degree. Don't know if you see all that well. But that is 170. I believe you can get into the settings two ways. One by the actual button. Down there. And you can actually scroll up and down on these. So, like, if I want to set the um, self timer, that's turned off. Continuous slap is off. Um, slow motion video, photo presentation, 16 mix. Right, so. There, it's already set on 4K. It does have uh, 2.7K. Uh, it has 720K. Um, so I can't read it that properly without my glass. And I don't know where my glass is. Got 720 at 120 frames per second. 720 frames at 60 frames. And 720 at 30 frames per second. some reason my camera just shut off no, I, ain't. I think what happens that when you see it it kind of like turns off the screen for a few seconds then comes back on so if your screen goes off don't worry about it um, so video resolution it, it only goes down to 720 so I set mine as 4k uh, recording sound is turned on. Time lapse video is turned off. Loop recordings turned off. Uh, slow motion says 720. But I'll put it on to 1080. Um, photo resolution 16 megs. And that's all on laptop. Um, Part of the menu, top one. If you go to the middle one, you've got uh, exposure. You've got a uh, housing mode. I don't know what housing mode is, but it's been set off for now. So you've got on and off. You've got white balance, angle, well, that's 170. You've got 170, 140. Uh, 110 
and 70. But mine is set 170. Driving mode, I believe, is when you actually turn the camera on. As soon as you turn it on, it automatically starts recording. If you don't want that happening, then what you do is you turn off uh, driving mode um, in the settings, untick it, and then when you turn the camera off, when you turn it back on again, it won't do that. And I think what's happening here is that I've got um, a screen saver on here because it's shut down every few seconds when I'm not doing nothing. Um, so I'm going to have to try to find that actual thing. Driving mode frequency. Screen saver. Yeah. It's got screen saver. Uh, it's set for 30 seconds, but I'm going to turn that off. Uh, so I don't want screen saver. Uh, it's got the date stamp, which I'm turning off. Uh, you've got the power save. So three minutes, I'm turning that off. The sound is on. Uh, language is English and date time is where you set your date and time and everything on there. So I've set turned that off for now. Uh, you've got format. Well, I ain't got no uh, memory card in there at the moment. Um, we set the factory and firmware version. Now mine is uh, version 3 Pro. Um, Version FX 1905 30 V1. Updated uh, 1905 30 PS 7789. So it's, this was actually updated on the 30th of the 6th, 2019. Manufacture Dragon. Now, um, let me find my other camera. My other backup one. So I can get the. Uh, oh, what? the only thing is, I'm not going to be able to do um, a live stream slash video playback because I should have done that through um, the other uh, software I use, Streamlabs. Actually, I might be able to just bring the camera down and show them what on the monitor. So what I'm going to do is pull out my memory card. Now, don't forget, with different cameras, uh, when you're actually putting the same card in a different camera, you might have to format it. some reason I've turned it off or did it turn itself off when you put the card in I don't know yeah. that is the pro free version right everything's turned on do you want to actually format the hard drive confirm and that should be formatted but I am actually going to go into the settings right, instead of using the screen I'm going to use the button got frequencies as well which is 1560 Hertz all right that's the format format confirm and that's full made and it still does come up with that little kind of like little error thing it's like um, a triangle with like a lightning kind of like z bolt thing saying tft now i think that's just does it on all cameras because it does it on this camera so um i think that's just like default thing um to exit you just press the x I'm going to use this one first, see if it works on my other remote control. And on these, the grey is the video and the red is for pictures. So, I'm 
Yeah, that one works on it. It's no recording. Press that again. Stop. And let's just make sure this one works. Yeah, that one works as well. Cut over there. Being bloody nosy. Right. Okay, so I'm not going to need both remote controls, but they are going to be, you know, um, I think I will keep this camera to burn shut because then that way I can use it as a spare backup. Because while, what I mean by spare backup, I've got my other camera here, which I might take out with me tomorrow, but I might not. I might take my um, Cam Park one and Dragon Touch one with me tomorrow and try them both out on the field and see, you know, exactly how they both are put at 4K. As I said, the other video I put up the other day when I was out with this one, I thought it was set on 4K, but it wasn't. It was actually set on 2.7K. So I've done two little videos. I'm going to take the memory card out. And when you take the memory card out, it actually shuts down the camera, which is pretty good. I don't know if it does it on that other one. But, yeah, um, let me just turn it on a minute. I want to see if it does it when you actually put the memory card in the swirl. Right, that's turned on. Put that memory card back in. Okay, for some reason it's not going in there. No, I know that's the right way. All right. Don't forget, your memory card always faces the back. The writing text got faces the back. I might have to order another memory card, actually. I have got a 64 gig one. Which I might start trying to use. Yeah, as soon as you put a memory card in, it actually switches itself off. I don't know why I turned it on because I've got to take the memory card out, haven't I? What plonker. So that's going to turn off again in a minute, probably. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, I didn't turn it off that time. Oh. Right, so I've got two short videos on here. Now, my lighting in this room isn't that good. I've got one of those uh, power saver batteries, and it isn't, you know, brilliant, brilliant. Right, so the only way I'm going to be able to do this is by showing you this way. Now, this is the first one I took. Yeah, that one works on it. No recording. Audio sounds quite nice, actually, on this one. For a second. So, it's the first one. Yeah, that one works as well. Over there, being bloody nosy. Now that is 4K. Um, you know, it might be a lot better outside, as I because like my room is kind of like still a little bit of dark, although I've got my light on. It doesn't mean it's going to like you know give high quality in here, but yeah, um, I think that might be a, oh, and also I still had the little um film thing on there which i didn't take off so um that's another thing i forgot to do well, i'm not going to do another video i just wanted to check out to make sure it does record which it does so what i'm thinking of doing is instead of taking my old uh 1080p camera out with me which i've been using for the last 
couple of years that one I'm actually gonna take the battery out of that and uh, I'm gonna take this camera the new one and this one with me tomorrow but I will only need um, one remote control which will be this one because this is the, uh, the one I got from the other camera the other day so I'll put that in the box I have noticed that some of the things don't seem to fit properly um, so I've got to go through those and I might do a video on those one day to show you what things don't actually match each other and it's just where well, I haven't got the strength to put it together so um, yeah uh, before I take the memory card out I'm taking out the battery from this one as well because this is a, one of the new batteries from the uh, camp park. This camera will be left here tomorrow. Um, so I'll make, oh there it is. I keep losing these little bloody things. I'm always losing them. I wish you could actually buy replacement ones, you know. Um, you know, like a packet of tin. Oh, this one actually has like a um, little screw bit at the bottom. So instead of like me having to, I don't think that one does. No, like with my other new camera, at the bottom it doesn't have the screw bit on it yet. Now I was actually going to buy the update version. This they got another one exactly like this, but. It was like ten pound more, and you got like a little phono plug in there, so you can actually run off uh, extended uh, external microphone. But I don't really need one like that because you know I think these pick up good enough audio as it is, to be honest. With you. But I won't need to carry that with me. Well, I've got one on my head strap, but I can actually screw this in. Because it's got one at the bottom. I just like walk around like that with it. I want to get myself like a proper selfie stick, actually, maybe. But that, that'll do for now. So, yeah, um, that's a new camera. It's called Dragon Touch version 3 Pro. It's got a touch screen, it's 4K. Um, I think it can take up to a 64 gig memory card. Um, I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't say in the actual um, but If anyone's interested in checking out the camera on Amazon. This is the link. It says now. <laughs> Without the two that ain't working, I've got like two, six cameras that work. But so why do you need more cameras? You know, why, why, why? Well, you know, we always upgrade, you know, because like, although these are cheap cameras, you know, the technology in them is like more updated, isn't it? You know, you've got better like filters, you've got better um, like megapixels and stuff like that. No, if, if I went out using this camera you know the video on this is not going to be as good as it is on these so that's the reason like people always upgrade like how about all the people who have uh, gopros you know if you've got a gopro and you bought it from the first time it came out gopro one and you now got i think it's gopro seven you know just think of all the people who's updated all the gap all the gopros so these are ready and set for tomorrow um that one is fully charged i've got two more being charged there and i've got another two um batteries charged in there 
and I've got a memory card here which has got a 32 gig in it I think I've put the 64 gig in this one actually in my other card um, let me check so I did try this uh, 64 gig And it did seem to be recording okay on it. Yeah. 64 gig. I'm going to give it another test out later on tonight. Make sure I can actually uh, cover, convert onto the PC. And then run it through um, Filmorama. Uh, to make sure it can actually be dragged over. Because some people are actually saying that with different memory cards... Um, you know, the only way you can actually read these uh, or watch them is through your camera. Because for some reason, when you drag them over, your over to your computer, the system is not reading the video files. So, um, you know what, actually, I think I might take this one out and put the 32 gig back in. I don't think I'll be needing 64 anyway. And that way, it's not going to give me too many hassles. So yeah, I'll take that out and put a 32 gig in. I will buy some more 64s um, and test them out on these ones. I'm going to just get the standard um, 64 HCSD ones, not not the extreme nor the other kind of ones, but just the normal. Um, what are they called? Um, Mo 10 or what they're called. But I'm going to have like five batteries with me tomorrow surprising that this actually took an old battery for my old camera no they are all the same batteries anyway so that there shouldn't be a problem but i did have a problem with the batteries with this one when i took that out so you just saw a little clip two little clips of me testing it in here audio does sound quite nice actually on that one i think the audio sounds better on this one than it does on that one but you know, until I get out and test them out tomorrow, I will be going to my permission tomorrow, doing some milk detecting. And also I'll um, probably go on the newer permission and just probably have a walk around. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna do actually any milk detecting. I know there's like some wooded area at the back. I might detect that for a little while, but the rest of the, all the new fields I'll be doing later. So I want to finish off with my first permission first before I start touching the second permission. Um, so yeah, make sure I've got my remote control. So I'm setting that all over here, ready to go. Now, just to let you know, this one was a uh, about 36 pound and this one was just under 22 pound i do have a better um selfie in the kitchen let me just go and get that quickly i won't need that Drop the memory card, 64 gig on the floor. Right, hold on. I think I bought these for about three quid, two or three quid each. Oh, these ones, you know, you're getting these off eBay for a pound. I had loads of these actually. I uh, bought a load of these about three years ago from uh, China in bulk, and I sell them for about 99p plus postage. So, yeah, I've been using that one as a, a spare. I probably will take some video on this one as well tomorrow. Um, the only thing is. The videos will probably get a bit mixed up like like my last video because it doesn't actually save it um 
as like file one, two, three, or whatever. It actually saves it a completely different format. It saves it as like um, oh, I can't even tell because I've actually taken the memory card out and formatted it. Um, but it's like mm -hmm. one oh two four three seven dash, you know, five nine seven four three or whatever, you know, kind of thing. Did you get your package today, Michael? I hope so. Cost me enough to bloody send it. Um, so yeah, that one and that one's going to be for me tomorrow. Um, got to make sure I've got me spare batteries. As I don't need that, that can go in the box. What I'll do that can go back in the box, it won't be doing no underwater stuff. keep the boxes just in case I do have to do a return so that's the kind of box it comes in drag and touch version 3 pro 4k ultra sport and it gives you like a little bit of information on that bracket 16 megapixels 4k 33 frames 2.7 k 30 frames 1080p um and that's is 60 frames yeah 1080p 60 frames uh 1080p um yeah 1080p 60 frames 720 120 frames per second uh photo from two megapixels at 16 display two point um inches ips windows um wi-fi you can actually connect this with the um same software as most of the VDX software, I think it's called. Uh, adjustable wide view angle, mics, Microsoft SD card, up to 64 gig. So this can actually run 64 gig. Um, but I won't put 64 in it because I, I, won't, I don't really do that many. Well, my videos don't take more than like um, 20 gig. Uh, battery, 1050 mah times two waterproof up to 98 feet with pace and there is one other thing i need to check out on this one can you zoom in and out with this one let me see now the zoom if it has got zoom features you'd have to use the buttons so it does it zoom i don't think it's got zoom features No, because when I press the top one, it says Wi-Fi. When I push the bottom. So this one doesn't zoom, which is surprising. So I thought it said it zooms. Yeah, four times zoom, built in professional. So how come I can't zoom? Unless I have to do it a different way. Ah, hang on. That's interesting. If you actually pull the screen open that way, it actually brings it into full screen. You still can see the actual um, camera play. Uh, settings and stuff like that the microphone i don't know why the microphone's not turned on it was turned on got the battery indicator so this one doesn't come with proper instructions but well, actually i don't know if you see that actually but i just kind of like went like that with my finger 
and it opens up to full screen. So that's interesting. I can't see the way of actually doing it any other way. Because when you press that key, it comes up with the um, Wi Fi thing on it. See? So that's weird. I don't, I don't think there's anything in the settings to do Wi Fi. I mean, uh, Zoom. Recording the sound. Loop recording. Slow motion photo. Self timer. Continuous lapse. So I don't know where the hell the zoom feature is. Another settings. House. What's housing mode? Let's do housing mode. All right, hang on a minute. When you click on house mode, it says in video mode, press and hold the shutter button for three seconds to switch to camera mode. In video mode, press and hold the shutter button for three seconds to switch to camera. So if you're in video, you just press that three seconds and it goes to camera. If you press it three seconds again, it goes back to the video, I think. I'm turning that off. So I don't really do picture mode. My eyes can't draw in there. Housing. So that's housing mode. Angle. Driving mode. Image rotation. They've got two driving modes here. Oh no, one is diving mode and the other one is driving mode. So you've got a diving and a uh, driving mode. So what does driving, uh, diving mode do? Check that in a second. So you can see LED screen saver, power saver, date stamp, sound, language, time date, format. Set factory firmware. What does um it's gone to play mode? So when I click that one. So I'm going to, have to like look on um, a video to see how you can do the zoom mode on this one, I think. Because it does say in the inscription it has the zoom mode. So how you do that, I've got no idea. Not that I really need zoom. And what I want to do is, I don't know if anyone watches um, Melt Detecting 24, use like this little really small pin camera thing to like, you know, zoom in on like small artifact defines. I did look at um, something similar to that, but it's like fucking 300 quid. I ain't going to buy one of those. If they've got something cheaper for about 30, 40 quid, then I might buy one similar, but I don't know. Um, right, settings. Format. Where's the format gone? Nice format. So with this one, you can actually go into the settings either through the screen or through the buttons. Now that should be formatted. So if I come out of that and click on play, there is no file switch play. So there we go. Um, so I'll be going out tomorrow doing some videoing. That'll be uploaded tomorrow. There might be two different videos. I don't know yet. 
Um, yeah. So I thought I was going to burp me. <clears throat> I've had another stomach problem today, so you know I'm just hoping that ain't going to be, you know, affect me for tomorrow. But um, let's see how it goes. Uh, I just hope I do get out tomorrow. I'll tell you that one thing I've been out for nearly a week again. Because the weather conditions. So that box can be saved. I always save my boxes in case I do have to return them. Any kind of item. So hang on a minute. Send Michael a quick message. <sighs> um, yeah, so that's it for now, guys. I'm going to go uh, have a little break. Well, I say I have a little break. I've been sitting here watching a load of. YouTube videos today, so I've had a long break. I would have went out today if that bloody camera turned up last night, but it didn't. So uh, I'd wait in all day for it to turn up, and it didn't turn up till like 4.30. Um, at least I've got it. You know, any of it didn't turn up today, you know, I still would have gone out tomorrow and took this camera and my other backup one. But yeah, that's it. I need to go and do one or two things. I actually need to go to the bathroom as well, actually. So I'll catch you on the next stream when that'll be. Could be tomorrow. Might be a couple of days. But video tomorrow's video at Milk Detecting will be uploaded tomorrow night. Um, so yeah, catch you all later. Have a good day. Um, have a good weekend. See you later.